every vagina is so different. So one girl's could be another girl's bam, bam, bam. So we think for, for fingering techniques, I definitely think there needs to be a lot of clip rubbing, playing, and then once you're nice and worked up, um, I definitely think one, and then work your way to maybe two fingers and, um, you know, just play. <laughs> just feel what's right and go for it. Mm, start slow and ask them what they like and how they like to touch themselves. And don't forget to massage the outside of the vulva as well, all the way down to the pubic bones and the vestibular bulbs, which are just on either side of the vaginal entrance. That is my favorite spot. And um, when you massage the bulbs, they get quite swollen and engorged. Uh, well, that happens with arousal too, but the massage really helps. And that adds a lot of lubrication and tightness in the vagina. Every vagina is so different. So one girl's could be another girl's bam, bam, bam. Like the size, the shape, the angle of the vagina is just so dependent on what feels good. Also learning where like a girl's G spot is and everything is super important. Like you just kind of got to get in there and feel around and then you know what's gonna, what's gonna do good. I feel like being a vagina having person kind of gives me a little bit of upper hand leverage of kind of knowing what's going on down there but it is really dependent on the vagina for sure. And I've got really, I would say train, train this part right here. Train your forearms, have good forearm like strength and work out at the gym. Well, you see, you gotta take two fingers. Either these two or the middle two. I'm not good at holding up the middle two. So these two, you go in and you go up, you curve up so you can hit her G spot, you know? And you gotta have some clitoral stimulation too, so you can use your thumb or, or you can use your other hand. Probably if you're right-handed, definitely you'd use your right hand when you use like your most dominant hand. Um, and then like the G spot is like right on top, right? Or like right under the clit. So if you finger like that and you go up, you're hitting the G spot. Um, and I've had a few people make me squirt really fast just from fingering. So you just go like that. And if you go really, really, start it slow, I guess, and then start going really, really fast, guarantee a girl will like that every single time. I'm a big fan of like the one finger. Just one finger, that's it. It just kind of, I don't know. I don't know why I like that so much, to be honest. <laughs> Um, but especially if I'm being eaten out, like one finger, it's, it's, it's enough to stimulate and in a really sexy way without going overboard too strong or too hard. Um, oh, there's something sexy about that.